Hello, today I want to show you how to create a wallpaper for a mobile phone. Links to the resources can be found in the video description. First, let's install the font. Go to Google Fonts website, it's fontsgoogle.com and type Sacramento. Select the font and download it. Open the downloaded zip folder on your computer. As it is a zip folder, we need to extract file first. Then select this file and right-click on it. Select Install for all users. After that, we need to reopen GIMP for the new font to appear in the program. If you don't have opened font dialog or tab, click on the triangle icon in the top right corner, select Add tab, then select Fonts. Ok, here is the font. For the new image, go to File, New Image and enter 2126 for the width. and 3827 for the height and select portrait. Background should be black. I had active background color set to black so it automatically filled my new image with black. To change color, select foreground, choose black color, it's six zeros. Then take back a tool, it's in tools, paint tools and fill background with black color. Now we need to add some guides, it will help us create a triangle. Go to Image, Guides, New Guide by Percent. By default it should be Horizontal and 50%. We need more guides. To save us time, click Ctrl-Shift-F. Select Vertical and keep 50% for position. Ctrl-Shift-F again, enter 20% for position. Ctrl-Shift-F once more, 80% for position. And the last Ctrl Shift F, select horizontal with 20% for position. This way we added 5 guides for our triangle. Take Puffs tool, it's in Tools Puffs. Let's zoom in for the better view. You can start anywhere, I'll start at the top. Add 4 points. With guides it's easy to make triangle, as the points are getting magnetized to the guides. Last point needs to be a bit further from the first point and then pulled on the top of it. Look how path point is magnetized to the guide. In the preferences there is a setting for the strength of the snapping. The higher the number, the stronger is the magnetic effect. Go to path tab. If you don't have it open, click on triangle icon at tab paths. Now I've got two of them open, so I close one. We can rename the path, it's not necessary, but so you know how to do it. Let's add some image now. I have found mine on Unsplash website, it was provided by NASA. Link is in the description. I've downloaded the original resolution. I will just pull my image on the canvas. Now we need to resize the image, so take Scale tool. It's in Tools, Transform tool, Scale. Click on the image, choose one of the corners and pull towards the horizontal guide. Image height should be more or less fit between the two horizontal guides. If we switch on the triangle path visibility, it will be easier to see. Now I'll take the Move tool to move the image to the left. Go to Tool options and select Path to Selection icon to create selection of the triangle. In Layers, select Image, right-click, Add Layer Mask, then Selection. 
By default, it will be white, full opacity, but this time you need to choose selection. The mask hid everything outside of the selection. Neat, isn't it? Go to Select None to deactivate selection. Now we will add a border to triangle. Create a new layer by clicking on the first icon at the bottom. Let's name it Border. Next we are going to increase the size of the triangle path. Switch on the path visibility. Let's switch on Tool Options. Take Scale Tool. Select Path in Tool Options, otherwise it won't work. Click on Triangle to activate Scale Tool. I've changed to percent as it was easier for me to work out the size. 110% should be enough. It's added 0.4, I don't know why. By selecting these squares in the middle, we can move the resized path. Let's place it in the middle of the triangle. Looks ok to me. In Paths tab, click on Paint along the path. Solid color aligned with 3 pixels. Let's hide the path. Now time to add some text. Take Text tool, select area where you want your text to be. I have already selected Sacramento font. In Tool Options or right in the Text Editor, set text size to 100 pixels. If you didn't change the foreground, it should be white for the text. Write your text, mine is I can do it. Take Move tool and move the text to place it closer to the bottom part of the triangle. For more precise moving, you can use arrow keys on your keyboard. If you don't plan to edit text, you can crop it by going to Layer, Crop to Content. It reduces the size of the layer and speeds up the moving. As a guidance, you can use the plus in the middle. Or you can use Alignment tool. Go to Tools, Transform Tools, Align. Select Relative to Image. Click on Text to activate it, then click on second icon in the first row, Align Centered of Target, Text will move to the center. Now I need quickly to move it up again. I want to add some contrast to the image. Select layer with image in the layers. Make sure you select image, not the mask. Go to colors, curves, I've got it here too and create an S-shaped curve. Rise up right side and lower the left side of the curve. I feel like it added kind of 3D effect to the image. Now let's add a touch of sharpness. Go to Filters, Enhance, Sharpen, Unsharpen Mask. Enter 3 for radius, 0.54 amount. Another thing I want to show you is how to move multiple layers at once. You need to click on this chain icon on every layer apart from background. As the layers are large, moving them using the keys on the keyboard will take ages. Faster is to grab image with mouse and move it down. As we usually have some information showed at the top of our phones, I guess that it will be better to have this triangle uh, not right in the middle but a bit lower. Look, I'll uncheck the chain on this layer and move it. See, only photo is moving. That's why we needed to lock all the layers together. 
Remember to merge all the layers into one before exporting the wallpaper. Go to Image Merge Visible Layers. Thanks for watching!